If you want to make your game great again, the wall is spectacular. There's nothing better. I'm going to show you how to practice using the wall, and then I'm going to show you how to make your opponents pay for it. Episode 11. Welcome to Real Tennis Talk. This is your host, Andre Schlesinger. Thanks for tuning in. We've got another great episode here. Episode 11, The Wall. Real Tennis. Real Tennis Talk. concept ever but in tennis this same pile of material moonlights as a potential game-changing method of skill building a method used by some of the greatest names in the sport names like Andre Agassi Pete Sampras Martina Hingis Leighton Hewitt Bjorn Borg and many many more hey even I got really good even myself, I got started on the wall when I was a teenager. I went from like an above average tennis player in my city of Eugene, Oregon, go Ducks, quack quack. Just like an above average junior player, you know, pretty good, um, but nothing special. That kind of bothered me. I wanted to be, I wanted to be really good. But the problem was the other kids were already really good and they were already doing all the things that I could think of to do. So how was, how was I gonna pass these kids? Like, given that they had the coaching, they had the time, they had the hours, and on top of all that, most importantly, these kids were just flat out way better than I was. It was like I was gonna have to do something special. So I thought about steroids, and because I was, I think 12 and a half or 13 at the time, that was kind of a logistical nightmare, decided against steroids and instead, I went and talked to my brother. My brother, Peter, was a state champion doubles player in Oregon back in the 1990s. Same decade that we saw um, musical superstars like MC Hammer and Vanilla Ice just thriving. And just like MC Hammer, after my brother got trained up on the wall, he was telling everybody that they can't touch this. They just couldn't touch him. And so he told me that and I decided I didn't want to be touched either. <laughs> Get your mind out of the gutter. What I wanted to be excellent, what I wanted to be was excellent. So I decided I was gonna do 12 months of training on the wall, five days a week, two hours every morning at the YMCA in Eugene, Oregon. I didn't have a driver's license obviously at the time, so that meant riding my bicycle down there several miles. I left my house at around 4.30 in the morning. Got to the YMCA around five. I had my own key. Yes, I know. And I would go in, turn the lights on, go down to court four, set up by the wall, and get to work. My brother made me a wall chart to keep track of my progress. And when I got through certain intervals, certain increments, like every, you know, every thousand forehands or every 10,000 backhands, yes there was that many i would get a reward so he would buy me stuff like take me out to the movies one time he bought me a bicycle it's insane the best biggest reward the the pinnacle <laughs> achievement here once i got to 50,000 shots on the wall chart was a week in adventure with my brother and his friends which at the time was like i might as well have been going with all my heroes to do something. I was just freaking stoked to get 50,000. So what I didn't realize was that in addition to all that rad shit that my brother promised me, that I was due some
some game that I was going to develop some some real skills and that this wall well this wall would just it would just be the thing that I would need to surpass my peers and become excellent so there I was rainy Eugene Oregon standing on an indoor court I was ready to begin I was so ready to begin, but I just didn't have any idea where to begin. I mean, how can I just surpass my peers? What do, what do I do on this wall that's gonna make it special? How come, if it's so good, why isn't everybody doing it? The answer to that question would be revealed to me as soon as I hit on the wall for an hour straight. It's boring as hell, but if you challenge your mind to see this as an opportunity, almost a meditational event. You can get in the zone and, and really hone and harness your mental focus as well as your tennis game. So back to the wall. So simple, so powerful, so wally. We could talk about so many things when it comes to the wall. Chinese people have built an amazing wall. In fact, I think it's great. The Great Wall of China is amazing. What about the Berlin Wall. A lot of emotion behind that sucker. That wasn't that long ago when our German brothers were divided from east to west by a military reinforced wall with a shoot to kill order. And now that leads us right into 2019. We've got a need for a wall. We have a border to protect. And it appears we might have a will to protect it. So maybe the wall isn't perfect. Maybe it isn't the ultimate in border security and maybe it isn't the ultimate in tennis development, but it's pretty damn good and it makes a real big difference. I'm Andre Schlesinger and this is your host of Real Tennis Talk, the greatest podcast in the entire universe about tennis. Hosted out of our secret laboratory in Las Vegas, Nevada, this is episode number 11, The Wall. Booyah! The Wall. What is inherent about The Wall that makes it such a great training tool compared to just actually playing tennis or the ball machine or having your coach racket feed shots to you? What is different about The Wall that makes it worth your time? The wall doesn't take bathroom breaks. The wall doesn't need water. The wall has no backswing. It never misses. Doesn't talk, doesn't complain, doesn't cheat. It only tells the truth. If you can't find the truth while you're hitting on the wall, then you're not being honest with yourself. The wall is the great equalizer. That's why we hit on the wall. Why don't we take these next, I don't know, three to four minutes. Let's take a deeper look at the wall. Specifically, how you and I can use this wall to reach our upside, make sure that potential is fully realized. Any tennis shot can be improved using the wall, by the way. I've got drills for skills, shot by shot, ready to go. And Starting with volleys, let's go ahead and break those down. Break those drills down like a cardboard box. Thanks for the vivid explanation of how we're going to break those down, Chippy. Go ahead and take us to the prompt. Three, real tennis talk, part one. Game set match. Peace out.